To speaking out now that three people have been charged in the case. 57 year old Jeffrey Gagnier died on Thanksgiving just days after he was attacked in the street. Fox 6 says Beverly Taylor was there when his family spoke. His entire life, um, people treated him differently, um, uh, made fun of him. Marianne Estranga says her brother, Jeffrey Garnier, was suspected of having a mild form of autism. Jeff was a kind soul with a passive personality that always veered away from confrontation. November 20th, a teenage girl told her mother and brother a man with a mask and a plastic bag frightened her and followed her home. Police say that man was Jeff Garnier. He had a very pale face. And very dark hair. Right. So, so the contrast of the two. They assumed. They assumed something. And they acted on those assumptions. 17 year old Javesi Pezanowski Young, 47 year old Danny Thompson, both of West Dallas, and 18 year old Quadjavius Pittman of Milwaukee found Garnier and cornered him in the street near 92nd and Lincoln. It's uh, regrettable, unfortunate, and tragic that this man died, but it is a one punch homicide. Thompson punched him, then Pezanowski Young hit him, sending Garnier's head smashing into the pavement. He died a few days later. Pittman is charged with theft from a person or corpse. Police say he stole Garnier's wallet while he lay unconscious. They must face the consequences of their actions for this inhumane attack on Jeff and spend as much time in prison as the law required. A fourth person was arrested in this incident, but prosecutors have decided not to indict her. She played more of a spectator role. Now, the arrest comes come as a result of a tip, an anonymous tip. West Dallas police say that person will be getting $10,000 in reward money. Reporting live outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Beverly Taylor, Fox 6 News. You got to think the reward.